I guess just going into the season, did you think you'd end up being the closer, or was that something that just kind of happened? Kind of just happened, but you know, you always have high expectations for yourself, and you want to have uh, big time goals. So that was definitely one of my goals going into the season. Okay. And just for you, do you relish the job as a closer, and if so, why? Oh yeah, definitely. It's a. Uh, I'm glad to be in that role. I love to go out there, and get the last couple outs for my team, and uh, just give my team a chance to win. Okay. You'll have to forgive me here a little bit. I'm not 100 percent up on your history about the, the surgery. I know it was in what about September of 2012. Yeah, September of 2012. Okay, just when did you know that you were gonna have to have the surgery? Um, around two weeks before that, I had my first MRI. During the summer is when it happened, and then. Uh, came back trying to rehab a little bit, and then we finally got the MRI, and that's when I found out it was torn. Was it um, was it something that just happened over time, or was it you just kind of? No, it was it one pitch up in the Cape Cod Lee. I threw a fastball inside, and that's when it popped. Okay, and just for you, what was that feeling like? And then just kind of going on through the other uh, 2013 series. Yeah, um, like it's pretty much just like an emotional roller coaster. I felt like you know the ups and downs. You go out there, you rehab, and you see your team take, uh, start practicing. It's kind of like a little emotional. Then you. They get past that, and then once the game starts, you can't take the field with the team. You gotta hit a little, a little bump in the road again. You just gotta, gotta keep looking towards the future goal, you know. And that was this season, so that's what I tried to do. And just for you, you know, you've had, you know, aside from last weekend, you've had a heck of a year. Just how, how amazing is it to be back so quickly and been performing so well? You know, it's always great to go out there and do anything you can to help the team. So I'm just fortunate enough to be able to do what I've been doing for the team. And just hopefully continue what I've been doing. And uh, I know you've spoken to reporters about this before, but you got that, that over the top kind of throwing motion. Just how how did you develop that, and is that something that like you guys specifically work on, or did it just kind of happen? No, it's just uh, most it's just my natural arm slot. You know, everybody has their own natural arm slot, and that's just what God gave me. Okay. What what kind of rehab processes did you have to go through after you had the surgery? Um, just shoot, it was mapped out from day one to the last day. Our uh, former trainer John McElhinney that moved on to Florida, he had all the stuff mapped out. It consisted of band work, uh, dumbbell work. Uh, plyo work, so it's just a, a long road. Which 